Hey, hey y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Jazz. Um, if you are not new here, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. And if you are new here, thank you so much. I'm so glad you found my videos and my channel and I hope that you do stick around. Um, so definitely hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos. All right, coming back at you guys with another micro lock video, of course. Um, and if you just saw my last video, which was my six month update, um, if you didn't see it, definitely go back in my videos and take a look at it. I'm going to put it right here in the corner, or I think it's gonna actually going to be on this side. Um, but yeah, I'll link it above um, and in the comment box as well. Um, so definitely go check that out. out. Um, but if you did see that, then I did talk um, some about how my hair is actually in the awkward stage. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about some ways that um, I have and some ways that I plan on trying to work my way through this awkward stage because I did mention in my last video that I am really struggling with it some days um, and I'm trying to do my best to really embrace it and just remember that it's all a part of the process but I'm not gonna lie I do struggle. So I'm just gonna go over some tips and tricks that uh, I use and I'm going to use to try and get myself through this really awkward stage in my lock process. And then what is the awkward stage? Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Basically the awkward stage in the locking process, as I experienced it, is just kind of like where your hair is in the middle of starting the locking process, but it's not quite, you know, very far in the locking process. For me, I started with two strand twists so some, some locks are still kind of have that two strand twist pattern and appearance. Some are try starting to move away from it. So it's almost like my hair is just confused. It doesn't know what's going on. It doesn't know what to do with itself. So my hair like doesn't want to lay down. It does what it wants to do. I'm experiencing a lot of shrinkage. I'm starting to experience budding. I'm starting to experience bunching. So there's just a whole lot going on with my hair and it doesn't always look the best. So some people refer to it as the ugly stage. I like to refer to it as more so the awkward stage. I'm not going to necessarily say that it's ugly, um, but I will say that my hair doesn't necessarily cooperate and lay the way that I necessarily want it to. So yeah, that's what I'm going through right now. And I'm just wanted to make a little video talking about it and throwing out some uh, methods or advice about how you can kind of work through that awkward stage if that's something that you're going through as well. So the first method that I do use to try to make this stage a little easier is stretch, stretch methods. Um, so I am going through so much shrinkage right now. Um, it, it shrinks so much, especially after wash day. So, um, to kind of combat that, I do typically do stretch styles such as braid outs, twist outs. Um, those are usually the two stretch methods that I use. Um, typically right now I am gravitating towards a braid out. As you can see, I do have a braid out today. Um, so that's what I do. It definitely stretches my hair a lot. Um, I don't experience as much shrinkage that way, of course. Um, and stretching was really a method that I used a lot during my, um, before I was locked. So when I just had loose natural hair, I did stretch my hair um, most of the time as well, just because I had so much shrinkage as a loose natural. Um, now that I'm in the awkward stage of the lock journey, I am now also experiencing a ton of shrinkage. So I'm kind of reverting back to, you know, the, the stretch styles, the stretch styles that I was uh, rocking before I started my lock journey. So if you are struggling with shrinkage and you're just in that weird phase, I would suggest maybe trying different types of stretch methods to see if that helps with your hair. Another method that you can try to uh, utilize to help with the awkward phase of your locks is head wraps. Um, so I recently bought like so many head scarves. I have always admired um, beautiful head scarves and, and women find so many different and unique ways to um, style head wraps. I personally am not very good at tying head scarves and head wraps. Um, so I'm really gonna have to do a lot of research on YouTube and Instagram and stuff to find, try and find some ways um, that I can tie my head scarves. Scarves are a great and beautiful way um, to make this journey and this phase of your locks a little bit easier. All right, so this next method is a little bit 
controversial as that's what I've seen on YouTube anyway um, and it is protective styles now I do notice most people saying like you know when you're first starting your lock journey that you don't want to use protective styles like box braids or twist or something um, and it does make sense I, I can definitely get how that can potentially damage your lock especially if you leave them in too long um, but I recently did purchase um, a wig I did get a headband wig. I see so many um, hair influencers on Instagram getting those. And I just think they're absolutely beautiful and a lot easier to style than like a, a lace front or something. So I did recently purchase the, one of those and it has been a lifesaver on the days where I'm just like over my hair. I just want to make sure that my hair looks good and cute. So I just throw on the headband wig and it has really been a lifesaver. So that is something... Uh, maybe a wig maybe over like box braids or something um because like I said apparently those can be potentially damaging especially to you you know starter locks maybe you want to avoid those types of styles but definitely something like you know a wig or I have even seen women take like the lock extensions and kind of do like feed in braid styles with your locks um so maybe look into something uh, like a protective style that is going to work well with locks to kind of get you through the tough days. For me, a wig, the wig that I bought has been a lifesaver. I'm going to insert some pictures um, in here as well so you guys can see. But that headband wig has really been a legit lifesaver for me on those days where I just am having terrible hair day. I don't wear it that often. Um, typically it might be once a week, once every other week when I'm just really struggling. Um, I work at home, so it's not like I'm going out that many places. Um, but if I wanna go out somewhere on a weekend and my hair is just acting up and I just wanna make sure that my hair looks good, I'll just throw on my wig and it's super helpful. Um, so yeah, all right. And this last um, suggestion that I'm gonna throw out here, um, is something that we always hear and that is just try and be patient. <laughs> um, I know that that's something that is hard to hear um, because it's not really like a tangible like thing like a head scarf or a wig that you can you know use to help but I, it, it definitely is a part of it is just being patient and just re remembering that this phase is not forever. I tell myself that on a weekly basis like when on the days that I'm really struggling with my hair, I just have to remember that this phase is not gonna last forever. Um, you will move on to the next phase. Eventually your hair will be fully locked and you won't even have to worry about things like this. Um, it's definitely a journey. Journey. It's something that you have to try to embrace. Um, you don't necessarily have to love it all the time. Like I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I'm not gonna lie and say that I love my hair every single day um, because in this journey, in this season of my lock journey, I do not. I'm going to be super transparent about that. I'm not going to try to make it seem like you guys are just supposed to be super thrilled with your hair every day because that's just not how the process, that's just not how the journey is. Um, so yeah, definitely be patient. Um, embrace what you've got. You don't necessarily have to love it, but just accept it and be patient as you move throughout your walk journey. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep this short and sweet. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If any of my ladies are currently going through their awkward phase or have gone through an awkward phase before, definitely leave more tips and tricks in the comments. Let us know how you worked your way through your awkward phase. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, of course. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.